Welcome back to Technology Update. Much of what you've heard and seen today wouldn't be possible without one integral part, the processor. When it comes down to it, its intricate arrangement of circuitry is a foundation around which all other bits and pieces are built. Now there are a handful of world famous brands out there, but many of you out there may be intrigued to learn that Russia boasts its very own high tech center of processor production. Technically part of Moscow, the Zelenograd district has long been the place to go if you're interested in tiny transistor tech. However, this wasn't always possible. While it wasn't a full-fledged closed city during Soviet times, the movements of both people and technology from the area were somewhat restricted. Over the course of the last two decades, though, Zelenograd has opened up and blossomed into the home for many of the country's leading high-tech firms. Some 150 companies and organizations, including two institutes, have set up shop in the special economic zone designed around the area's knowledge base. There are a good many of great examples we could point to, but one of the standout stars is Micron, which is Russia's leading maker of many things micro, from SIM cards to RFID tags to integrated circuits. In 2012, the company launched a new 90 nanometer production line. With that, Micron is able to produce 36,200 millimeter wafers per year. Certainly something to boast about, but why exactly does Russia need its own mighty microelectronics producer? Well, for that, there seems to be a very good answer. Microelectronics is an economic as well as a political industry in the world. In some well-known instances, different countries have barred the export of certain microchips. Most recently, the U.S. prevented the export of microchips destined for T-platforms, a Russian supercomputer manufacturer. With that in mind, there are certain industries that really need to have full technological independence. One of the most obvious examples is in air defense systems. It'd be difficult to protect your own skies with your own hardware if nobody were willing to send you the insides. It's the same with satellite navigation. Russia's GLONASS is the only true alternative to GPS with full global coverage achieved in 2011. And while the space race may be as dead as the Cold War, microelectronic hardware can still be considered sensitive information, despite the fact that it's often intended only for peaceful purposes. It's all about trust rather than pure performance. With that in mind, a microelectronics brand name that stretches back half a century has come out with a new chip that removes the worry about hidden holes in security. With its roots in the institute that built the top Soviet supercomputers, the Moscow Center of Spark Technologies has become one of Russia's top microchip makers. And their most recent offering is the Elbrus 2S Plus. It comes with a clock speed of 500 megahertz, two cores, and boasts processing power of 16 gigaflops. Unlike many risk-based processors out there, Elbrus 2S Plus relies on a compiler to execute parallel operations more effectively. With that in hand, they've branched out and have bigger targets in sight. The Monocube board is our attempt to make quite a cheap, affordable computer based on our latest developments, that is, the Elbrus 2S Plus and KPI Southbridge. The board forms the basis for a brand new computer, the KM4 Elbrus. Produced by one of Russia's leading computer hardware makers, Craftway, the first batch of them has already rolled off the production lines. They're equipped with a touchscreen and can run either Linux or Windows. While it may offer performance on par with world leaders, many who turn to Elbrus do so for another, no less important reason. At the moment, we see that our main clients are primarily state institutions and organizations that are concerned about security issues. Since we developed the system from top to bottom, uh, meaning the motherboard, compiler, BIOS and libraries, we have what we'd call credibility. We can guarantee that our product doesn't have undeclared capabilities. So those interested in security would find our product attractive. At every step along the way, these engineers seem to have security in mind. Whether it be choosing a tried and true company like Micron to handle the actual production, or writing in a special secure mode which prevents a potentially malicious program from gaining direct access to the memory. The Moscow Center of Spark Technologies ensures that safety doesn't take a backseat to outright processing power. However, in the world of microelectronics, it's certainly not all doom and gloom. With transistor sizes continuing to shrink, this high-tech industry is confidently striding into the future.